Hey everybody, Win Empire here today. I've got the Anchor Solix C2, C1000. It's a power station, 1,025 uh, something watt hours, 1,500 watts uh, continuous, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, you can watch reviews on this. What I have today is using the solar input. This thing can handle up to 600 watts of solar charging. And there's other videos talking about using a 12 volt battery or a 28 volt or 24. 36, 48 volt, etc. Well, this uh, charge port can go up to um, 60 volts, 12 and a half amps, which is about 600 watts, I believe, as the math goes, if you have this XT60 connector. So I thought to myself, you know, if you can do that with a battery, maybe you can take this and uh, use a, you know, a boost converter. So other people have done that. But how about we bypass all that and just go with the 56 volt battery? That's right, folks. We got the Ego battery right here. Will this void your warranty? I don't know, but these batteries are out of warranty. Anyway, don't steal my serial number or QR code. I'm just kidding. This thing's old anyway. But as you can see here, it's got about, uh, you know, that much charge left. What I have here is something you can either make yourself 3D print or um, buy it off eBay or Amazon. I'll uh, try and put a link in the description but it's basically an adapter that has this uh, cable. I think it's an 8 gauge, 10 gauge, um, to some unconnected leads. It's just cut right here. I connected these. Um, I had to solder this together. But basically made an adapter cable for this. And it goes on and slides in. There's other models that kind of lock in place, but this is fine. Um, you can even put it on upside down. Um, and then once you plug in, again, test your voltage, make sure you're below 60, but you just plug that bad boy in there. And as you see, I've got one minute left. It clicks on and I didn't have to do anything. It is showing 83 watts input. And if I don't get to the end of the video, it will actually go all the way up to almost 600 watts, like 584, I think is what I think I saw it peaked at. So this battery, if you do the math, I think it's around 350 amp hours. It's 550, uh, excuse me, watt hours if um, you have a 10 amp hour battery. So charging up 600 watts, we hit the full 600. Look at that. That is awesome. So you can, Take advantage of that. Tell me what you think. Likes, dislikes. One Empire sign off. See you.